morning everyone my name is Abby Bliss White and today we were going to do a little fun tutorial on um, glowy foundation base so someone had asked me what my day-to-day -day kind of um, foundation like what my go-to was and I tend to like that healthy kind of glowy skin look so today I was going to show you some of the products that are tried and true for me um, and give you a little um, just share my go-to for my um, hopefully healthy glowy skin foundation so if you would like to see that please go ahead and watch and again thank you for all your support okay let's do this thing glowy skin here we come <laughs> oh, okay so i have nothing on my skin right now except my spf or my skincare and spf and today we are going to start with dr sturm um, glow drop so i'm going to use a little bit of this kind of as my primer um, now, I had a request to use the infamous Charlotte Tilbury um, Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I'm gonna show you how I use this. So when I first bought it, you guys, I almost took it back because I didn't know exactly what I, what it was for, and it is definitely something that <laughs> it's gonna give you a glow. Okay, I have a few drops of these little lovely um, Dr. Barbara Sturm Glow Drops. You guys, this is a skincare brand and I'm just going to kind of um, put these on. So these are another one. I actually really like them, um, but I wasn't exactly sure how to use them, like if they should be used under makeup or above, and it says you can do both. So today, okay, yeah, you can see a little bit of um, can you see how it just gave a little bit of glow and I am going to one thing that I've been doing that I think is helpful is using this um, Charlotte Tilbury brightening youth glow underneath my eyes so I literally take a teeny bit of this and you guys this I have used all over my face too um, it definitely is brightening like I think that would be the one thing it almost is I would say whitening or I do really like it but I prefer the champagne um, the wonder glow that gives a little bit of a champagne color but I do like this youth boosting for under my eyes so this is going to start to brighten up so we are starting with a lovely little primer of some glow potions and get those underneath the bags now I did already put on the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I think this really does help brighten up and I use that in the morning. Okay, let's do the next concoction. So the way that I like to use this, you guys, is in my foundation. Like I like to mix it all together. I found that if I just slick it on all over my skin, that is way too much for me. Um, and that's again just for my particular skin type. I know people who do it and love it But I just feel like it makes me look like a little bit of a disco ball So I just put some on my hand and I believe I am in Number yeah number three. I think this is for light medium skin. This stuff is pretty magical There's lots of ways to use it But the first time I used it I slicked it all over and at the end of the day I was a greasy uh, I, I looked a little too glowing, if there is such a thing. Okay, next I'm gonna take my Tom Ford, I'm sorry guys, that's kinda gross at my, I am mixing right now because I am in between shades 5.5 bisque and my 6.5, we'll show you this one because it is much cleaner. I am taking some and I'm just wiping it on my, um, taking a little bit and putting it on the forefront of my arm or my hand. And I'm gonna mix this concoction all together with my lovely Heavenly Complexion brush from IT Cosmetics. And you guys, I'm gonna just start to put this together. It's like a little concoction. Can you see how it's kind of, 
in between and then we're just gonna start dabbing this on. So I really, for kind of healthy glowing skin, I really like cream foundation because I feel like it just melts in to my skin a little better. So I am just starting by buffing this on. I'm gonna have to get a little bit more. Buffing this into the skin and um, gonna get this underneath and then I like to go over my eyes. Start to look a little bit alive here, guys. Okay, and can you see the glow already? Uh, I am gonna go in with just a little bit more so I can definitely um, see a little, um, let's bring this down, a little splotchy neck here. And I am gonna go back already getting there okay do you just see how that just kind of um, gave me a, a cleaner complexion it gave me it just smoothed out my skin imperfections and you can see can you see how there's like a little glow right here going on um, and again I just like to buff 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 and then I take a moment I am going to look in the mirror and see where else I need a little bit more foundation. And um, I'm gonna do a little bit more on my cheeks. And you guys, this time I am switching brushes, okay? And this one is the Heavenly Luxe Bye Bye Foundation Brush. This one's like has a little triangle. It is fantastic, oh, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I'm embarrassed by this crazy one. Um, it is a fantastic brush to get right in here. So I'm going with the lighter 5.5 bisque and I'm gonna be just using this right in this. This has a much more firm and this is so awesome. If you really wanna buff this into your skin, this is a fantastic brush. Um, it is it just is much denser than the other one that I have, but I feel like if I really pounce that into the skin, um, it just looks really nice. It looks like skin. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more on the brush here and I'm gonna go underneath this other side of the eye. Whoa, okay, now I have too much. It's all right, we'll buff it in. Okay, um, that is one thing I really do like about this Tom Ford foundation is that you can just pounce, pounce, pounce until you sink it into your skin. So I did get a lot, but hey, it really lightened up that eye. So I'm just gonna even this out and bring this down my neck. And then you guys from there, this is like your base. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a beauty blender and we're gonna continue to blend. So that is really, 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 really the key. Always this goes along with eyeshadow and everything. Um, but to get that skin-like um, appearance, after I buff that in with both of those brushes, I go in and then I pat through with a damp beauty blender because I just feel like then that really pushes this product into the skin. And then we will move on in just a minute and get some color back in. So I like to just bring this all the way down my neck and going right over my eyes. Okay, we're gonna take a peek so far. That is about all I'm gonna do with foundation wise. And I'm gonna go to the side and see if you can see how there is a little bit of healthy glow from that, um, from this Hollywood Flawless Filter, a little goes a long way. Like, I love it, but you guys, I, I have had to play around with it because uh, you really can do too much. Um, or at least I think so. I, I have seen a lot of younger ladies put it on just ch -ch -ch -ch, um, and they look amazing, but I just feel like in real life, it looks a little bit too fake looking. Okay, pouncing underneath my eyes. And then, okay, now that we have the base on, I am going to warm up the skin. Two products that I absolutely love are the Chanel, this is, what is it? 
Um, soleil, tan de soleil. Uh, yeah, Chanel. Soleil, tan de Chanel. And this is a very loved product. Love, love, love this color. But my newest favorite one that I have been using is my Westman Atelier um, Contour Stick in Biscuit. I, You guys, I love this so much. This has been my surprise. Um, I guess I would say like literally out of everything, which I was so surprised about. I, I uh, This is just one of those that I really like. So what I'm gonna do is from the top of the ear, just come down here underneath the cheekbone and then again kind of coming over here just a little bit you don't need too much of this then i'm gonna go through here and go through my forehead shorten that just a little bit i like to go down the sides of my big nose here and just a little bit and then underneath here a little shadow and then you guys always the jawline i just do a little bit here this disguises any double chin action. Then for this one, I kind of either use my favorite brush, this guy from It Cosmetics, or I switch over to my full coverage face from Bobbi Brown. This again has a nice little dents and I just go in a circular motion. And I switch and I come up here and I'm going to just Go through here. Do you see how it's already warming up the skin so much? Like all of a sudden uh, going from flat to looking a little more alive. Oh, um, and then let's come down the chin here. Yes. And again, you guys, I really, really, I'm going kind of in a fast manner, but on purpose. <laughs> I like to just make sure we are blending everything out and then we'll take a peek and see um, we are gonna be layering. Um, okay, so let's look at this from afar. Okay, as you can see, the complexion has been evened out. I've got a little bit of glow going up um, through my, in my forehead, around my cheeks, and then I just warmed up my skin a little bit with that lovely um, Westman Atelier Biscuit. Now, it's perfect for my skin tone. Um, they don't have any other colors at the moment, but that does not mean that it is. That okay, next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Petal Blush from Westman Atelier. You guys, I do promise I will use some new products, um, but right now, this is really my go-to and I just wanted to show you what I'm currently loving. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of that Bobbi Brown. Um, and then I am just going to sort of smile just a little bit and buff this in to the cheeks. And we are getting some color here. Yay! I need my eyeballs. We're gonna do that next. So I'm gonna show you my really simple, clean eye, day-to-day -day eye next. Um, okay, so we have got the cheeks. Let me put a little bit more on. One thing about the cream blush is don't get too worried if you feel like it's a little bright to begin with. They will sink into the skin. Um, okay. Can you see I am building a little bit of color warmth? And then you guys, one thing is, um, yeah, we'll just, I like to just put a teeny bit over my eyes to start to give them a little bit of shadow. Um, okay, next. Yeah, we're bringing it out. <laughs> Oh, if you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I'm completely obsessed with Westman Atelier uh, Peau de Peche um, Super Loaded Highlighter. I can't get enough of this. It's seriously my favorite. Another one, let me see if I brought it down. I didn't. I love the Vanish. Before, I really liked the Vanish um, Highlighter Stick in Champagne but I'm really liking this little, um, I'm really enjoying this color because it is a little more bronzy. So I'm kind of using it up on the high part of my cheekbone 
And the thing I like about it, it's just not, it looks, it's not too shimmery or too highlighty. Um, it is just beautiful. It makes your skin look really healthy. I'm gonna go ahead, just put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. And okay, can you guys see? Let me see if you can see how that is just a really pretty, pretty color. I'm gonna take one just a little bit more and just buff this in. Okay, we have got a nice glowy base. This is what I would consider. Um, I'm gonna bring you up close, but this would be my day to day. So the last thing I like to do once I put all these kind of cream products on is I just kind of like to take my hands, they're clean, rub them together, and I just like to press everything into my skin. I forget who taught me this, but they were like, basically, I was like, I don't want to look like cake face. And as you can see, I have put some different layers on my face here. And you just push that in. Um, then I take a beauty blender and I am just going all around to make it look like just skin. So this is my base. Now I am not a huge powder girl, um, but I definitely, you can set down the T-zone. Um, my skin is dry, so um, I may do that. <laughs> but here is my basic few minutes of putting together uh, my kind of healthy, glowy, healthy skin foundation. Um, thank you for watching. And if you would like to see my clean go-to eye, um, go ahead and I will be doing that next and putting uh, that video up of my kind of quick and easy go-to clean eye, everyday eye. Okay, thank you for watching. And again, you guys, let me know what your favorite go-to healthy, glowy skin foundations are. As you know, I'm a total um, junkie. Um, and one last thing I wanna say is if you wanted to, instead of using the Peau de Peche, you could take this guy and do we wanna be, well, I don't know if we wanna be that glowy, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show. You could do a few dots right here and then buff that in and you're gonna see it's gonna give you the most beautiful glow. We are gonna be extra glowy today. Uh, yeah, okay, can you see that you guys? It just makes your skin look super healthy. One thing I kinda like to put a little bit of that right at the back, up above the brow bone, just a teeny bit. Okay, yay! Thank you guys for watching. I so appreciate your support. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button as well as that notification button. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support and kindness. I'm just having a whole lot of fun um, doing these videos and I just wanted to say thank you. So have a great day and I look forward to chatting soon.